All right, man, I'm going to do this video, and I'm only going to do it once, right? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. But, hey, if you need to unsubscribe from the channel, I ain't holding it against you. Don't follow me on social media. Now, a lot of these people, um, we had a situation with um, uh, Mr. Arbery. Um, so, you know, hopefully that gets solved. And, you know, I just kind of want to say something on that point, but this video ain't about that fully. You notice how Shannon Brown fired two shots at people that was coming to look at his house, the NBA player, and they took him to jail for somebody coming into his property for aggravated assault. Those dudes sat out there since February 20, 20 something, and they and they not just they just not going to jail <laughs> in May. See how quick Georgia threw the brother in, in in jail, and he was standing his ground in his house, and how long it took them to, to get them the McMichael's boy. So. This is kind of something to be said, but I'm here to talk about uh, Rainbow Snitch Bitch, all right? That's what I'm here to talk about, all right? And, you know, people out here, you know, it's close. Like, here, man, I swear to God, I don't care who you is. If you got a wrench or whoever you got a wrench, unsubscribe to me or I'm going to take that shit regardless. If you sitting here, out here, and you capping for 6 9 bro, especially if you black, you out here co-signing this dude and, oh, you know, if, if, if that was my, if that was me, I would have snitched too. I don't even care, man. Get get away from me. I don't need that negative, uh, coon energy around me. And I'm just gonna keep it 100. People don't understand, you know how I go. Okay, look here, man. He played gangster. He got fucked. All right. He he wanted to be with the gangsters. He wanted to roll with the gangsters. He didn't have no problem using the gangsters to fight people at the airport. He didn't have no problem with using the gangsters, right? To to order hits and shoot at Chief Keith. He ain't had no problems going hitting licks with the gangsters. He ain't had no problem shooting in the Barclays with the gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Shit happen all the time in the streets. People double cross people all the time. Oh, if they would have tried to do your wife and all this, that, and the third, and says, oh, man, I would have did the same thing. Stay the fuck from around me. Because once you enter that gangster life, bro, man, he needed them for validity, you know, for validation. He needed they backing for protection to make to co-sign his gangster. Did they make a mistake by co-signing him? Absolutely. Everybody made mistakes every day. But you know what that 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 life details. Everybody know it. You it's been a thousand instances in New York. From Nikki Barnes to Pee Wee to Frank Lucas to Rich Porter to A Z. So to all them dudes, man, all this Carl Hines, Carlton Hines, I think his name was. It's been all them them different instances of what happened in the streets. You know what's gonna happen. Every empire gonna fall. Oh, they tried to they fucked this baby mama and and they did this and that to him, so he deserved to he deserved to tell. Nobody deserved nobody deserves to be snitched on when you're part of that world. And I always use this example. Remember state property when Dame Dash kidnapped Biddy Siegel girl? Did he go tell to tell the cops? No. If somebody kill your moms or, or kill your kids, you know what I'm saying? You don't call the cops if you a real blood, if you a real crip, if you a real gang. You don't go to the cops. You don't file no police report if you in the street. If you selling crack and somebody rob you for your crack, you gonna go to the police? Somebody kicking your spot and take all your work. You can't go to the police. No way, no how. And the only reason he was able to go to the police is because he was a motherfucking mole in the, in, in the, in the very beginning. He ordered a hit on somebody on video, live on Instagram. How is he walking around free? He ordered a hit. He ordered a hit on Chief Key and uh, Fredo. I think it was Fredo, his cousin, Tato, excuse me. He ordered a hit. What, I mean, what are y'all talking about? Come on, he around here doing gangster things, fired off in the Barclay Center. And don't forget, he's a sexual predator. People forgot that. He had sex with an underage girl. Since all y'all tough guys out here, you know what I'm saying? Y'all so tough. So y'all co-signing a sexual predator? Come on, bro. Come on, this dude was a sexual predator. He been a snitch. How you have sex with an underage girl and get probation and get swept under the rug? Because he been a federal informant. But they do that to us. 
they do that to us. They they can they know you can't infiltrate a gang with a a lot of times with another nigga. They can put a white man in, in hip hop, a Mexican in hip hop, and hip hop gonna galvanize around them. You know how how he hugging this white girl after they killed his brother, his uncle, his cousin, or how the judge, you know, hugging this white girl after she killed the innocent black man right here, Amber Geiger. How they hugging her? That's how the that's how y'all niggas look hugging, uh, talking about defending six nine if you black. That's how you look. Oh, Meek, you a hater. Oh, Meek, you you just hating on him. He hating on a snitch. Or is he bringing awareness to nigga? This ain't what we about. He destroyed black lives. Don't forget, he shot at Chief Keith. Don't forget, he went to Chicago trying to be a tough guy. You know, don't forget, he told on Shotty. People talking about telling on Shotty was was ready to, to to get down with them niggas that 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 had pony down on him. He was ready to put in work. Whatever six nine needed needed needed, Shotty put in that work. When Jay Prince and them, you know, uh, uh, you know, disrespected six nine. Who went to go pony down and rob them niggas in New York? That was shoddy. What did y'all talk about? Where did loyalty at then? But let me guess. You know, let me guess. If he was black, y'all be throwing him under the bus like Troy Ad. If he was black, if he was black, you know, he'll be exiled. Oh, we ain't fucking with his music. This, that, and the third. I'm telling you, a lot of you niggas is coons and you don't know it. Real talk. A lot of you dudes is coons and you don't know it. Y'all protecting these, these, the other in hip hop. Only genre, or only genre or culture in the world, you can come in and go as you, as you please. Only, only genre, only culture that we know as Black Americans is hip hop. That's a fact. Hey, we built this shit after three hundred years of oppression. That's what we got to show. We don't know where we came from. They said, "Oh, well, I'm from Nigeria," or, "Or I'm from, I'm from Ghana." Or, I'm ten percent, uh, I'm ten percent from Zimbabwe, and then I'm ninety percent. Uh, I'm 90% from, you know, Nigeria and stuff of that nature. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Nobody truly know where they come. We so mixed up and shit. You know, we got white and the Scottish, right? We so mixed up. But this is the only culture that we built this shit. That, that people can come in and out. Don't forget, they took country from us. They took rock from us. White people can walk. Post Malone can come in. MC Search can come in and go as he please. Six Nine can go in and go, go can't come and go as he please. Bubba Sparks can come and go as he please. The Beastie Boys can come and go as he please. Vanilla Ice can come and go as he please. But we give a hard time for black people to come and go as they please. But we Lil Nas X tried to go to country, and I say this all the time. They said no, no, nigga, can't come here. Try to go to rock, and we built that shit. No, no, nigga. You can't come here. Yup. That's God honest truth. This how y'all look. Defend a 6 9 if you a black man. Young black man, old black man, middle-aged black man. This how you look, bro. And this is what I think about you. I think you a butter biscuit raccoon, bro. I think you the scum of the earth. You a nigga I never want to meet in the streets. And if I did, I'd spit on you. That's how I feel about you. I whip my shit out and piss in your face. I'm tired of y'all letting these, the, the other come and go in hip hop, man, ace nation, you know, come and go in hip hop. Y'all going to let the, y'all let this nigga come and destroy, destroy black lives. You know what I'm saying? Snitch and come back. But for many, many years, niggas were on snitch. Oh, no snitching. Stop snitching. Stitches, snitches get stitches. Remember when people live by that moniker? You know what I'm saying? Y'all quick, y'all quick to, y'all quick to give another nigga a hard time. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure Bobby Smarter have at least five million on Instagram Live when he get out. Somebody that went down and didn't snitch. He went down. He took more time so all his men could walk out at the same time. That's what you celebrate. Say what you want to say about Boosie. He was on death row and didn't tell on none of his niggas. People say, well, the streets is a myth. If the streets is a myth, how the fuck Nicky Barnes make all that money? How the fuck Free Ray Wars make all that money? How Jay Z have multiple albums to rap about? If the streets is a myth, why did Tupac have all that to rap about? All that was a myth. Us being hunted by cops. Poor Pac was talking about that back in the day. The Ten Crack Commandments. That was a myth. That's something that never happened. 
Jay Z, you you come on. Other than the fast cars and t and, and and bitches shaking their ass in the bars, you wouldn't be involved with the underworld killers, East Coast bodyers, West Coast cat pillars. I know I fucked the line up. So that's a myth. Stop stop fucking uh uh reciting shit that niggas don't know what they're talking about. Dope money, street money built Coca Cola. It built a lot of motherfucking uh prominent business tonight today. So it's a myth. Quote, the Into Deep movie was a real shit. That was a myth. Streets ain't no fucking myth. The streets real. Streets as real as you touching your skin right now. It's real. Ain't no fucking myth. As we Pee Wee Kirkland, the streets real. Come on. But this how you 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 butter biscuit coons looking defending six nine. This how you look. Exactly how you look. Same way y'all look at when Curtis Jackson, a, a, a known federal snitch. It's how y'all look defending him. It's how y'all look defending Eminem, a known racist. You know what I'm saying? You might as well go ahead and throw a Gucci hat and a Gucci belt and a Louis Vuitton shirt on, bro. This is how y'all look still wearing Kanye West shoes. Come on, man. All you, all you niggas, you pro-black niggas, man, get out of here. And then when it's, when it's revealed, when you niggas are swirling, oh man, you know, uh, uh, nah, I can fuck up out of here. You trying to talk that black shit. Oh, they doing Lamar Jackson like this and Earl Thomas like it's a modern day lynching of a mod army. I'll get the fuck out of here. You married the dirty white bitch. You did. You married the little Hispanic hoe. You did. You didn't procreate with a black woman. I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. No, I ain't taking no more swirlers, no more disrespect. None of you butter biscuit, commercial, rap loving coon ass niggas, man. No more. No more. I'm cleaning my slate clear of these fake ass niggas. I'm not going back and forth. I, it, what's already understood shouldn't even have to be explained about Snitch Nine. But if he was a nigga, he did that, he wouldn't have no career. He probably would have been found hand, hung in his cell. But we love beefing with each other. Nigga, step on your shoes, or you can't wait to kill that nigga. Police and other people kill innocent black men. Zimmerman walking around, um, uh, Gregory McMichael, and, and whatever the other dude name. They Travis McMichael. They gonna be walking around talking about we we picking it. Well, next time a nigga in the club step on your shoes, I want to see y'all nigga, y'all gangster niggas picking around his car. We want extra Air Force Ones. We want new Air Force Ones because he stepped on mine. I ain't trying to hear that, bro. I really ain't, man. Just disgusted with black people, man. This is why I keep my distance from a lot of people, man. The greater people out here is terrible. And then when something happened to them or some injustice happened to them, they want you to ride and pick it with them, man. Fuck up out of here. You know, people say the streets is a myth. Motherfucker, pro-black is a myth. Hey, that shit doesn't exist no more. It doesn't. You got people talking the toughest, like real shit on YouTube talking tough. And then you find out all they mess with is Asian women. All they mess with is white women. All they, oh man, all they mess with is Hispanic women. You know, you like, what? Huh? Excuse me? Just the gang we in. You know, you got to watch out for those two fake snake ass niggas, man. And I mean it. I really mean it, bro, but. Hey, it is what it is. If you still want to support 6ix9ine, you co-sign him. I don't care who you is. Unblock me. I mean, uh, unsubscribe. Leave the channel. And if I see you, uh, you know, talking that, talking to that nigga, I'm a, I'm a unsubscribe. I'm gonna take your wrench. I'm just letting you know right now. I'm giving you the opportunity to leave. I'm gonna take your wrench. I'm gonna block you on social media. If I see you talking that shit or defending that nigga, man, hey, I don't give a fuck. Make another account. You just gonna show your hand. I'm I'm not not riding with that shit. I don't want no followers that bad. No, this is one of the times where I ain't tolerating that disrespect. Swirlers, coons, six nine co-signers, not not tolerating it no more. Straight block you, man. But y'all know what it is, man. Good for the sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support, man. And uh, just keep looking out for more videos, man. I'm gonna keep putting it down. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And uh, appreciate it one time for the one time once again. 
You know, don't forget we on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, quiet response, your video request. Let me know what you guys think uh, about these 6, 9, 11, 